አይደለኝ የዚህ ቲዩብ ተከታታዮች እንደናችሁ ዛሬ የኤሮዳይናሚክስ ፕሮብሌሞችን ሶልቭ የምናደርግበት ቪዲዮ ይዤላችሁ መጥቻለሁ ይከታተላል ያልገባው ጥያቄ ካለ በኮሜንት መስጫው ላይ ያስቀምጡልኝ ወይም በዲስክሪፕሽን ቦክስ ውስጥ በሚገኘው የቴሌግራም ቻናል ላይ ይጻፉልኝ እና መሰግናለሁ አሁን ወደ ፕሮብሌማችን problem 1 for most gases at standard or near standard condition the relationship among the pressure density and temperature is given by the perfect gas equation of state pressure is equal to density times specific gas constant times temperature p equal to rho times r times t where r is the specific gas constant for air at near standard conditions r is equal to 287 joule per kilogram kelvin in the international standard of unit and r equal to 1700 Kilogram feet pound per slag kelvin in the English engineering system of unit. Using the above information, consider the following two cases: a. At a given point on the wing of a Boeing 727, the pressure and temperature of the air are 1.9 times 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter square and 203 kelvin, respectively. Calculate the density at this point. At a given point on the wing of a Boeing 727, the pressure and temperature of the air are 1.9 times 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter square and 203 kelvin respectively calculate the density at this point b At a point in the test section of a supersonic wind tunnel, the pressure and density of the air are 1058 pound per feet square and 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 slag per feet cube, respectively. Calculate the temperature at this point. Take note that now the problem lies at certain standard condition. Now, the gas standard condition, the relationship between the pressure, density, and temperature, it will be defined by perfect gas equation of state. It will be uh, pressure equal to density times R times T. Pressure equal to density C plus R. the specific gas constant times temperature events information the gas at standard or near standard condition relationship among pressure density and temperature is given a perfect gas when we have a perfect gas we are going to apply the equation of state equation of state pressure is equal to density times r times t and there is a gas constant given and also there is a pressure and temperature on the boeing wing air is 1.9 times 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter square and temperature is 203 kelvin now based on this information calculate the density at this point the other given is pressure and density of air is given for supersonic wind tunnel the density is 1058 pound per feet square and the density is 1.23 times 10 to the power of minus 3 slag per feet square and we are going to calculate the temperature at the section of the supersonic wind tunnel solution from the equation of state p equal to rho times r times t when we rearranging the equation to find the density density equal to p divided by rt and substituting the number which is given to us to calculate the density as aircraft wing density is equal to p divided by rt equal to 1.9 times 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 287 times 203 it is equal to 0.326 kg per meter cubed this will be a density at a point b we are asked to find a temperature of temperature at supersonic wind tunnel test from the equation of state p equal to r times p equal to density times r times t rearranging the equation to find temperature temperature is equal to p divided by density times r when we substituting a number into the equation the answer will be 501 ranking substitute sanadergo setan given substitute sanadergo yemimetal nutet sentional 0.326 kg per meter cube b it is asked to find a temperature at supersonic wind tunnel section and recalling the equation of state p equal to density times rt rearranging the equation to surface body surface pressure due to pressure and shear force 
R. The first is DNU equal to minus PU DSU cos theta minus tau U DSU sin theta. This normal force it is due to the pressure and shear stress on the surface of the aerofoil. The other force, the lower body force, pressure and shear forces, is going to be DNL equal to minus of PL DSL cos theta minus tau L DSL sin theta. We have two equations that related to the upper and lower body surface, pressure and shear force. In the two force integrates another go in setanal, normal force setanal, normal force on Aerofoil. Total normal force, it is a combination of N DNU plus DNL. Integrate both sides from leading gauge to trailing gauge. N prime will be integral of DN equal to integral from leading gauge to trailing edge minus PU DSU cos theta plus tau u dsu sin theta plus pl dsl cos theta minus tau l dsl sin theta yeah. when we are rearranging the above equation the two minus is going to be in front of the integral and n prime equal to minus of integral from leading edge to tra trailing edge so let's see rearrange another differential allen DSU and DSLN. The upper surface and the lower surface. Differential of the upper surface and differential of the lower surface. So let's see. By measure of integral, line, the upper differential of surface component called collect in our actual line. And assume PU cos theta plus tau u sin theta dsu the second integral collect the natural term which the term which is related to DSL differential surface lengths naman nacho pl cos theta minus tau l sin theta dsl rearrange naragacho nezional on substitute naragacho we are going to substitute these equations by uh, using by taking some curvature of the aerofoil dx is going to give us this cos theta minus dy is going to give us this sin theta and we are going to substitute at the, the equation n prime is equal to minus integral from leading edge trailing gauge pu minus pl dx plus integral from leading edge trailing gauge tau u plus tau l dy again let's add pressure of free stream minus minus and plus pressure of free stream r n prime equal to minus of integral leading edge to trailing gauge pu minus p infinity minus pl minus p infinity dx plus integral of leading edge trailing gauge tau u plus tau l dy. To find the coefficient of normal force, we are going to divide both sides above equation by qs, q infinity times s. q is the dynamic pressure times s is surface area. Surface area will be defined by chord length times unit. When we dividing the above equation by using the pressure, dynamic pressure times surface area, it will be n prime divided by k infinity c equal to minus of 1 by c integral leading edge to trailing edge in bracket pu minus p infinity divided by k infinity minus in bracket again pl minus p infinity divided by q infinity times dx that will be the first integral the second integral plus 1 by c integral of le or leading edge to trailing edge in bracket tau u divided by q infinity plus t tau l q infinity times dy that will be the second integral. So let's see the diagram and know we are dividing both side by the dynamic pressure times the surface area. Finally, we got one of the equation: the coefficient of normal force equal to one by c integral of CPL in bracket coefficient of pressure at lower minus coefficient of pressure at upper dx plus one by c integral from leading gate trailing gauge coefficient of friction at upper plus coefficient of friction at lower times dy. Here, yeah, here we have the derivation of normal coefficient of normal force. Let's see what we can do.